नमस्ते स्टूडेंट टुडे वील गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द थियोरम व्हाट डू मीन बाय थियोरम एंड टू थियोरम इन आवर सिलेबस सो हियर थियोरम मींस अ मैथमेटिकल स्टेटमेंट अ मैथमेटिकल स्टेटमेंट दैट हैज लॉजिकल प्रूफ ओके टू प्रूफ अ थियोरम यू हैव फोर स्टेप गिवन टू प्रूफ कंस्ट्रक्शन प्रूफ दिस कंस्ट्रक्शन इज ऑप्शनल वन समटाइम वी नीड टू कंस्ट्रक्ट to prove a theorem or sometime not so here we are going to see a very important theorem in this chapter so here the theorem says two distinct line distinct means different line two different line cannot have more than one point in common okay so that means if you'll see here there are three cases you can see here the parallel line they will never intersect that means you will never get a common point look at this line it will intersect in a future okay that means it will intersect at a point and it is intersecting line you can see that you have a common point that means you will never get two common point okay if it is like that then it is not a straight line it will be a curve okay so now we are going to see uh, the proof to prove that i have already told you you need four steps so here we will not going to use this one so first one is given so look at the what they have given here two distinct line that means we will assume here two distinct line has been given we will take as l and m you can see here l and m or you can see this one or you can see this one so we'll take this all three and we'll write l and m are two distinct line okay and we need to prove that two distinct line can intersect in at most that means at most means maximum one common point they will get they will never get two intersecting point only one either zero or one not more than one remember okay so we'll go into use contradiction method contradiction means first we'll assume that will get two intersecting point after that we'll see that no it is not possible okay so here let uh, let we we'll assume let us assume that two distinct line l and m intersect at two distinct point say a and b okay then what then point a and b are common two line l and m that means this is your l there's a common point a and b and there's a line m common point a and b okay but remember what we know that from any two point we can draw only a straight line now you have a and b two common point you are getting one straight line here you are getting another straight line here how could it possible from two given point two different line can't be drawn Euclid first theorem says, but what we know, but we know that given two distinct points, there is a unique line. passes 
through them that means from two distinct point a and b only one line can be possible to draw one straight line but here we have assumed that these two are getting two distinct point so a and b will be common to both of the line but it is not possible this contradict our equilibrium first postulate which which contradict our assumption therefore therefore that means only one therefore two distinct line cannot have more than one point in common okay so you can see here equally first postulate says that a straight line may be drawn from one point to another point okay so this is your first theorem try to listen it again and again if you are not getting okay so next one next theorem will go so this is the second theorem and the last theorem for this uh, chapter okay so two lines which are both parallel to the same line are parallel to each other what does means take three line l m n now if l if l parallels to m if l parallels to m and m parallels to n m parallels to n then we need to prove that l is also parallels to n l is also parallels to n again we will going to use contradiction method okay so suppose suppose l not parallels to n we'll think that l is not parallels to m and again we'll get some contradiction okay and then we'll say no we are wrong l must be parallels to n suppose l not parallels to n that means what in the last theorem we have seen that if l parallels to m you will not get any common point if l sorry if l parallels to m then we will never get any common point if l is not parallels to m you will get one common point okay that means that means what <clears throat> then then l and n okay what should intersect at unique point say p that means they will intersect at unique point p take this one as l and this is your n suppose you are thinking that l is not parallel to n then that means they will intersect somewhere at a point p now you remember euclid clefier exams let's see recapitulate for every line m for every line m not lying on m not lying on m there exist unique line that means only one line would be there which is parallel to m you take l you take point p then you will get only one line l see you are getting these are the line which we are getting but they are not parallel only one line which is parallel to m but but what now thus what you can see thus through point p not lying on m look at here this is your m and the p you are getting somewhere which is not lying on m okay 
that means two line two lines l and n are parallel to m see it is given that it is given that three lines l m n in a plane such that l parallel to m m parallel to n that means l parallel to m n parallel to m so here from the point you will get only one line but it is given that m is parallel to n and l how could it possible see it is given m is parallel to n m is parallel to l but by playfair exams if you are getting a point p which is not on m if you are taking this is your m line and you are getting this point somewhere think this one is this and this one is this okay p then how could it be parallel look at here here you are getting l is parallel to m n is parallel to m but if we we'll take the intersecting line l or n then we will get one p which through which we will get one parallel line but here you have two parallel line it's not possible that means this contradict which contradict play fair exams that means equivalent fifth postulate that means this implies our supposition or assumption is wrong therefore l must be parallel to n okay so i hope you have understood thank you